Hello, so for today's video, basically I just wanted to talk about my history and experience struggling with hormonal acne. I'm gonna kind of cover the my background with acne, like growing up as a teenager, how and when I first got my really bad hormonal acne, how I reacted to it and treated it, and like my experience emotionally with it and mentally and then kind of like a few years after that how it eventually kind of went away and kind of like just my thoughts on the whole thing and the skin in general now as well and then i do want to say that this video is not me trying to explain how somebody can get rid of their hormonal acne watching this video you're gonna find out that i pretty much don't have a straight answer for how my hormonal acne went away yeah i honestly don't really know how um i don't know how it came about and i don't know how why exactly it went away i have a few ideas but yeah so this is not really if like you're looking for answers of how to get rid of it i don't have straightforward answers yeah but i just wanted to share my experience with it to hopefully help anybody who's going through the same thing or just give my a different perspective i guess so yeah okay so for a little bit of context and background on my skin when i was growing up when i like went through puberty and throughout teenager my teenage years i didn't really have really bad acne um i did have acne and sometimes i did feel like it was a little bit more than other people experience but it definitely wasn't to the extent that I experienced later in life. It was kind of just like typical, I guess you could say. And I didn't really have a great regimen for dealing with my skincare as a teenager. I just used things like the, that people like joke about now. Those like apricot scrubs and like CVS green masks just stuff like that so I didn't really know a lot about skincare and I didn't put a lot of effort into my skincare but it wasn't something that I was super focused on or worried about so yeah I do have some family members who do who have experienced really bad acne as well both as teenagers and as young adults so I do think that that has a part in my experience so when i was near the end of my teenage years like 18 19 at that point um my skin was actually pretty good i did have some acne and get some breakouts or like a, a few pimples but it was like i was pretty fine with it I, I don't really remember thinking about it that much so then then i turned 20 21 i think it was when i was around 20 i don't know what happened all of a sudden i started breaking out really badly um along my chin and jawline area and it didn't come all at once it, it started actually with a few like very deep acnes or pimples that were like really severe that i, I haven't i hadn't really experienced before maybe like one at a time but I got like one and then I started getting a few more and it was hard to get rid of like I was treating my skin and whatever and yeah it was hard to get rid of and then after a few maybe like two or three months it just started building up and eventually I just had like really really bad acne so it was a mix of like deep larger pimples and then like lighter very small under the skin um acne that would kind of like cover a large area of skin so it was like a mix of those two things and yeah i really didn't i really don't know what happened i tried really hard to think about like if i had made any changes with my diet with any products i was using whether it be like um, something that I applied to my body or hair yeah I don't know if it was from something that I wore differently or that I went somewhere different like literally nothing had changed so I don't know why this was happening all of a sudden 
yeah so i was really sad and frustrated and i didn't know what to do and to me it didn't make sense because i felt like something like that was what you experienced maybe as a teenager and i didn't know why if i was like older and past those years of like puberty why the, why it was happening to me all of a sudden and like i said nothing absolutely nothing in my life had changed i hadn't done anything different yeah so i couldn't figure out what was wrong and it was really frustrating to me definitely my self-esteem started taking a hit i i felt like self-conscious not only about how i looked but i thought like maybe i wasn't being hygienic or something and like i was gross and that's why it was happening so i i felt like frustrated with that because i i mean i was hygienic so i couldn't figure out why that was happening and i was trying to figure out if there was something unclean that i was like doing that was a problem but like you know i washed my sheets whatever i took showers yeah so that's actually what kind of got me not what kind of going through that experience and having all of that hormonal acne is what started me and prompted me into like searching up skincare and like really learning a, a lot of different things about skincare approaches and at the time i also didn't know that it was technically hormonal acne i i was aware that it was like in a certain region but i hadn't learned that like that area was typically associated with hormone hormones so eventually through when i started researching to try to figure out what i could do to help my skin i learned about a lot of different products at first i tried to approach it just topically like literally just buying different products and seeing if they would help me and it helped a little bit and the different things that I learned about, the different products and ingredients, I do really think are great for your skin. But I think it's just the fact that it was more of an internal thing. They couldn't like solve my problem. So I would try them. And I think that they did improve the condition of my skin, but they didn't take away the acne. So that was really frustrating. I kind of spent like a lot of money on different things in hopes that they would like hear me but nothing really helped so not only was it like really difficult for me because it was affecting my self-esteem but one of the things that I think really sucked about it was that since it's so visible it became like an invitation for people to comment on or try to give advice without me asking for it um, and that made it even more difficult to deal with because I was really trying a bunch of different things and people would like tell me how to fix it without me asking them and they would say like stuff that i either already tried or that was really dumb or like just kind of invasive because like they wouldn't know what was going on yeah it just felt like it was it was really rude and it just made it harder to deal with because not only was i self-conscious about it because of how I look but then I became self-conscious about if somebody would say something and at the time that this started happening and it was like in its worst state I worked at a retail store and customers were already assholes so I also had customers telling me shit about it that I didn't ask for and that also made me feel shitty yeah and I actually remember crying a few times because of it because of customers or people telling me something and they were trying to like offer advice like i said but it just wasn't appropriate and if i didn't ask for it you know they shouldn't have given it so because i was so sensitive about it and in general i'm typically a pretty sensitive person there were a few times that like literally they told me something and i burst into tears <laughs> and then um i remember there was this one time that that happened and we were closing and I had spent like an hour with some customers helping them. I was helping a, a daughter and a mom and the daughter's friend. And then after everything, the mom took me to the side and like told me something about it, about how to wash my face with a certain kind of soap or whatever. But I was like, she was nice about it. But like I said, I was just really sensitive about it and I didn't ask for that. 
and when she when she told me that i just burst into tears i couldn't control it and i felt bad for the daughter and her friend because they were so embarrassed they were like mom what did you do what did you tell her blah 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 and yeah i just couldn't help myself so i just went to the back and then it was time to leave anyway so i went home and then my coworkers were like what happened what did she tell you oh my god and i was just like yeah so a few months after this first happened and you know i was dealing with it whatever i started taking birth control for the purpose of birth control not related to my acne and i explained in another video but i've like tried different forms of birth control in different brands at different times and since it was kind of like a while ago I don't exactly remember the pattern of how it went because I did try a few different brands and there were a few I don't necessarily remember the order of everything but um, when I first started taking the pill I don't think that anything changed with my acne even though my doctor had mentioned it as a possible plus side um, that the birth control would have that it would potentially reduce my acne or if it did it was very minimal so i started taking that and after a few months of that i kind of have had already like accepted my fate i guess of the acne and i was still trying things to try to make it better but i felt like it was just something that i had to deal with at that point yeah for a few different reasons i decided to switch from the pill to the shot just to try it out and see if it would be a better option for me so i took the shot and that ended up making the acne even worse yeah so that was really frustrating for me and i decided not to take the shot again because of that and i just decided to go back to taking the pill so when i went back to the pill i think this this was one of the times that when I started it again, I took a different brand and like dosage. So when I started taking it again this time, it actually had an improved effect on my acne and a lot a lot of it went away. Yeah, I was super happy. Yeah, just because like I said, it was really hard to deal with mentally and emotionally. And I needed birth control anyway, so when that happened, I was like super happy and just like relieved and i did know that like i think at this point i knew that for a lot of people hormonal birth control actually gives them acne or even if it does improve your acne it's not because it's like treating the root cause it's just messing with your hormones basically and that's a side effect but it's you're not really like healing internally you know which is pretty much the most important thing but either way i needed birth control and at that point i didn't want to try any like natural alternative methods i didn't feel safe doing that yeah and i was so terrified of getting the acne back i just stuck with that for a while after a few years, I did decide that I wanted to try the fertility awareness method for birth control. Like, I felt that it would be healthier for me. So I tried getting off the pill, but when I got off of it, my acne came back really badly again. And I still was super self-conscious about it and I wasn't ready to deal with that. So after like a month, I was just like, I'm just going to go back on the pill. I think that happened like twice where I tried to get off the pill but both times like my acne came back and I wasn't okay with that and I just went back on the pill. So finally a few months ago I decided that I would try it again just because I thought it would be a healthier route for me and I was a little more comfortable with dealing with potentially having acne and trying to solve that problem I guess through another way besides just taking the pill and just like covering it up so the last time that i tried to do it i was able to come off the pill and not get my really bad acne back and there were a few things that i did differently that time like i took some vitamins and herbs along with when i stopped the pill so i don't know if that 
made a big difference or not or if it's, I just think that it made a difference because it happened to happen at the same time but yeah so that time my skin pretty much stayed as it is now so I've been off birth control I don't even know maybe like maybe like eight months now and my skin has stayed the same I still have like I still get acne and breakouts and stuff but not nearly to the same extent as before yeah so I'm really happy about that but I think having that experience like I said I still don't know what caused it and I still can't say for sure why this time that I went off the pill that the acne didn't come back I've changed my diet somewhat but well I wouldn't say just somewhat I've changed my diet to be less contain less processed food and stuff and that's a process that I'm still going through and I'm trying to transition to plant-based eating um, but I haven't fully made that transition yet so I can't I don't think that my diet changes have been big enough for that to be the reason it could be just a combination of all the different things that I'm doing like how I'm living life now compared to then since like I ended up researching a lot about like different things that could be causing it I ended up kind of going down a, a path of like trying to figure out what's best for my body and like um, more of like in a holistic approach and I'm definitely still on that path. I don't implement everything that I want to implement, but it's something that I'm like trying to go towards. And another thing that kind of ended up happening, even though I maintained, like I was still self-conscious about it the whole time. At the same time, it kind of like taught me to, it, it kind of like taught me to make sure that I still love myself no matter what and not worry so much about how I look yeah and and I already knew this beforehand but obviously like it's so messed up that something as simple really as acne can have such a negative impact on your self-esteem especially for women and femmes obviously because you know like we're socialized to kind of depend on our appearance as like a social currency and be constantly judged for our appearance so it's hard to fight back at that but having that experience kind of took it to a different level for me to still find beauty within myself not even like just in spite of acne of having that really bad acne but like you know kind of changing the idea that in my head that you can only be attractive or beautiful or worthy if you have nice skin more so learning to like not be ashamed of myself and how I look in that aspect like I said it's still it's something that you I have to practice still and it's not like I'm it's not like I'm I've like overcome that messaging of not worrying about how I look I definitely think that like if that happened again or even now like when I get acne I still like get stressed about it but I, th I feel like in a lot of videos I see about like really bad acne most of it is just like trying to figure out how to get rid of it and people sharing how like they've healed themselves or gotten rid of it and you know, I definitely do think that that can be a sign of something being not the way, the healthiest it could be. But at the same time, like, it doesn't have to be this terrible thing. You can have really bad acne and still live your life and you can totally not care about getting rid of it. I just, I don't think that it should necessarily be framed as something that like, you know, we need to get rid of or need to try to figure out yeah how to get rid of it because it's just reinforcing the idea that like you're a worse version of yourself 
when if you're if you have skin like that you can still be beautiful even if you have really bad acne so i think that if it's something that you're struggling with i think it's more important to find ways to accept yourself and love yourself with it and appreciate yourself um as opposed to like something that's wrong with you and something that you need to be ashamed of and get rid of and feel like ugly for or judged for yeah so hopefully this was insightful yeah i wanted to offer the different perspective and again my experience yeah so thank you very much for watching and bye